I'm Kirsten Wise from Purdue University, and today we're going to show you how we do field research to examine the impact of management strategies such as fungicide seed treatments and planting date on sudden death syndrome or SDS development in soybeans. SDS can be yield limiting in some years, and so it's important for us to understand what management practices can influence disease development. We begin our trials by placing the fungus that causes the disease into the soil. We do this because we want to have uniform and consistent disease across the field when we're examining the impact of our treatments. So we grow the fungus on sorghum and then plant the sorghum into the ground underneath the soybean seed. So first you can see us here adding the sorghum to the field and then we will go back over the field and plant soybeans on top of the inoculum. And this allows us to put the seed right on top of the fungus so we ensure that we get good disease development. After the soybeans are out of the ground, we're going to sample the seedlings and see if any of our treatments are having an impact on early season disease development. So we collect the seedlings in the field and bring them back to the lab. We wash the seedlings and then rate them for any root infection. After we rate the plants, we dry them and then weigh them to see if treatment has had an impact on seedling weight. After we collect this data, we send the samples to Iowa State University where they will be tested to see if the fungus has colonized the seedlings. This allows us to determine if any of the treatments have an impact on early season disease development. Later in the season, we'll go back out to the field and rate the plants for disease. We rate these on a scale and this allows us to see if treatment is having an impact on late season disease development. Finally, at the end of the season, we harvest the plots and determine if treatments have had an impact on yield. We combine all of this data to determine what management practices we should be recommending to minimize the impact of SDS in soybeans. This research was funded by the North Central Soybean Research Program.